Hello and welcome, this is Rufamonger, and this video is going to be a little bit of a wish list of things I would like to see in Season 2. As we already established in a previous video, Season 2 is basically a guarantee, uh, and even more so yet now, as of recent developments, as Bandai Namco US has said we're going to get something basically even earlier than the 17th, as there will be an event on the 14th, so tune into that stream and watch it. So with that said, the changes I want to see are mostly stuff uh, in-game and quality of life changes. And let's just go over training mode here because it's a really basic one I want, but I figure everyone would like this change. So the first change I would like to see has nothing to do with gameplay itself, but uh, I think it has a lot to do with uh, accessibility and just readability characters. And it has to start with Android 21. Uh, so you see here right above her uh, super bar here, she has these little icons and uh, they fill up as you get like your absorb moves on just like you know what you have right uh, it's a great idea and that should be applied to more characters than just her so we have someone like gohan right uh gohan right now he's level zero he's level one he's level two he's level three and so forth right it should state just what level you are because uh for most part for combos and all, for most stuff it only really matters if you're level zero level one and up but it hurts nothing just to like state right here above the bar just hey he's level one he's level two he's level three or whatever level he is right and same for ginyu this is something i personally forget sometimes and uh this cost me matches against ginyu players uh sometimes i forget who's up in order because uh if uh say like birders next right and you don't remember birders next and you get caught uh that could be the end of the game right so just a little icon here above the super bar just showing like Here's a little Galdo face, a little raccoon face, just showing who's next in line can help both the player playing Ginyu just as a refresher and definitely help the person fighting against Ginyu just to keep it all in mind, just keep everything nice and readable. And obviously this could be applied to more characters and perhaps even future characters depending on what gameplay mechanics they might have. Uh, but for me, I think that's just a nice little change that would just help everybody out. Another change I'd like to see this one is affecting gameplay. Uh, it's basically well known by now. Uh, the game, well, it's a fun game that many people enjoy. Uh, the defensive aspects are a little bit skewed. Uh, the game super heavily favors offense, and that in and of itself is not a bad thing. Uh, but once you're reeling, it can be really hard to have any semblance of uh, being able to really defend yourself. Like, Reflex is an alright mechanic. Uh, I think it's going to be a little better, but the thing I want to talk about is right now is just uh, guard cancelling. So guard cancel, for the most part, kind of just sucks, really. Um, if you have like the same brain dead string that you've seen a million times, you can usually suss out when you can hit someone out of it. Uh, but it's just way too prone to getting smacked itself. Uh, the one thing I would say is just simply, uh, it is punishable on hit, uh, block if you do manage to get your uh, guard cancel block. I'd say make that a little more readable, like uh, just like oh, nice little float state, so someone can like really easily see you get punished. And give a little bit of invincibility to the guy coming into uh, off the guard cancel. Obviously, you got to spend a bar. That's not easy. You lock out your tags for a bit when you do that too. So you're not giving up nothing for the um, option of the guard cancel. But it just the reward is so low for the potential risk and what you already got to put into it. Uh, this definitely has to be better in my opinion. Now that said, with a potential season two. That could happen. There could be new mechanics that can complement the uh, lacking defensive suite in this game. Uh, who knows for sure? Uh, but just sometimes it's just really lame when, like, when you gotta wait for your turn, right? Like, uh, the lockdown in this game compared to other fighting games is a lot longer, and it can be a little frustrating sometimes. So just to give the defensive player just a little more to work with, I would love that a lot. And I think just making guard cancel better is a good first step towards it. Another thing I would like to see, and this is something I have mentioned before quite a few times, multiple assists. Uh, a lot of characters, I wonder why I'm picking these guys here, uh, they might have lackluster assists. They certainly have their uses, uh, edge cases they may be, right? Both Krill and N18 definitely have a lot of nice little tech that can make use of the assists. But what they aren't is like this thing, you know, or a beam or a Gotenks, you know. Um, at least two per character. We don't have to go the Marvel vs. Capcom route where everyone has to have three, but at least two per character. Uh, Krillin, easy enough, you can give him beam, and that would make Krillin wildly more useful uh, as anything other than the point character. If you could have a beam assist, uh, 18 could have the pizza cutter, uh, and then you gotta say, like, well, then what about someone like Super Saiyan Vegeta, right? Well, obviously, the uh, old barrage is probably what you're gonna wanna stay with, but still, uh, maybe if you give him rush kick assist or something, there could be something. Certain characters would definitely, you're not going to switch. You're not going to switch out Gotenks for basically anything in the world, probably, right? Uh, but for a lot of the cast, um, they could do a little better. Um, 
and I would just it would such so dramatically increase team building capability because a lot of teams are just like okay I got my first two characters and then I'm gonna pick Gotenks or Vegeta or Super Saiyan Goku for my anchor just because they're the safe bets and they have good assists and you know they work it well as an anchor like the team a variety of this game could be exponentially uh, added upon if uh, just even a second assist for each character and we can just go from there. It would just make Team Variety a lot more interesting. Now, don't get me wrong, I think Team Variety is the best it's ever been as of the last few patches. Uh, but still, hey, we could do a lot better and just really make teams really unique. And for other Season 2 stuff, obviously we want more stages, we want more characters. Uh, we can speculate at a later time. I'll just say for stages, yo, we gotta have Snake Way, we gotta have Kame House. Like, at the very bare minimum, these gotta be stages, right? Uh, and as for character stuff, I know a lot of people want, you know, Ultra Instant Goku, Jiren, all that. All I'll just say is, uh, give me Movie Broly and Kale so I can finally have my three Broly team. <laughs> we can already do three Gokus, we can already do three Vegetas, give me three Brolies, come on. And of course, the most important character we need is Balma and Namek. Now, the other stuff I want to see, this is all quality of life stuff here. Uh, one, and th th I've harped on all these before, but uh, one, we need online training mode. There's so many times, uh, me personally, you know, I'm a guy who teaches people how to play fighting games, right? I'll talk to someone online, it's like, hey, let me show you a thing, and uh, I can tell them a thing, but I can't show them a thing, right? I can't just make a lobby a training mode, invite them in, and uh, practice away. Like, this is a staple feature in, like, a lot of NRS games, right? And it should be a staple feature in every fighting game, yet it currently is not. Uh, just to train and practice with someone online outside of the context of a match would be invaluable for a lot of people. Uh, that said, also, while I don't experience as much as some others, uh, it doesn't mean it's not an issue, and that's rage quitting. Uh, yeah, like if you rage quit a lot, your name turns purple, and what does that mean? It means absolutely nothing in the end, right? Uh, my understanding is, especially at lower ranks, rage quitting is rotten. It's an absolute epidemic, and there needs to be real penalties for rage quitting. Uh, this is kind of a through line in a lot of Japanese-made fighting games where there just isn't a lot of penalties for fighting. Uh, this is kind of a through line in like Japanese-style fighting games where there's very rarely like any big penalty for rage quitting. And I don't know if it's like a cultural thing or whatever, but the fact is, hey, over here, we're in the lands where we speak English, we're all salty babies and people rage quit, right? So there has to be real consequence for people who want to rage quit over and over and over, and hopefully that will be added. And the final thing, and this is the thing I'll add forever and I'll never listen, so I'm just wasting my time talking about it, I guess, but uh, netcode. Netcode is serviceable. Netcode can be better. Uh, we have a delay-based netcode. It could be a rollback netcode and be a lot better for everyone involved. Uh, you can change, you know, your netcode mid-game. It's been done. Look at Mortal Kombat X, right? Uh, will it happen? No, it, it's not going to happen. Like, I, I, I can, like, bally my head against this a million times. Uh, Arc System Works has made it very clear they have no interest in a uh, rollback netcode. Uh, but I won't feel right uh, if I didn't bring it up, basically. Uh, we deserve better netcode. It's certainly not the worst netcode ever. But uh, it's certainly not the best netcode ever. And we can just do better than what we got. Anyways, that's it for me for now. So not only remember to tune in on the 27th and 26th for the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals for all the fun stuff that's going to happen there. Now also remember to tune in January the 14th, Twitch TV slash Bandai Namco US because there'll be fun stuff going on there as well. So anyways, that's it for me. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.